Hello, and welcome to English Micro Listening Lessons, where you can improve your listening skills by learning how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. This series of videos can be watched in any order and can be used for self-study by independent English language learners or in a classroom by English language teachers. There's information in the box below the video for teachers. Spoken English can be difficult to understand due to something called connected speech, which is the continuous stream of sounds without clear borders between a sequence of words. There, that's better. Some features of connected speech that can make sounds change or disappear at word boundaries and affect your ability to hear words you know are coalescence, elision, reduction, assimilation, resyllabification, linking, and intrusion. Don't worry. I'll explain what each of these means in this series. Awareness of them will improve your ability to hear individual words in the stream of spoken English. Ready? Here we go. This is Dr. William Hammer talking about animals in Antarctica in the past. What two words does he say in the middle of this sentence? We found the dinosaurs. Then in the 90s we found the dinosaurs. If you're watching this with someone else or with your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. The two words are found the. He says, then in the 90s, we found the dinosaurs. However, he didn't pronounce the D at the end of found. He actually ended up saying found the. Why is it that found the can sound like found the? When spoken together in connected speech, these two words can make the D disappear. That's because of a feature of connected speech called elision, when a sound disappears often to make pronunciation easier. This is because it can be hard to pronounce multiple consonants. So sometimes a final D sound in a word is not pronounced if that word ends with more than one consonant and the following word starts with a consonant. So in this case, we've got found that ends with two consonants, N and D, and then the has the th sound. So it can be difficult for a mouth to make the n d the sound when somebody is speaking quickly. So often English speakers just drop the D and don't pronounce it. Please note, this can also happen inside just one word, like with handsome. So because D is between the two consonants N and S, um, it often just disappears and you just hear handsome. Please note with this feature of connected speech, the elision of the D sound, I say sometimes because it really depends on the speaker and how fast they're talking and how formally or informally they're talking. So sometimes you will hear the D and sometimes you won't. Um, and because we're looking at connected speech, we're not going to be looking at this phenomenon in single words like handsome. We're only going to look at it when it happens at the boundary of two words like found the. And if you don't understand the symbols I'm using to represent sounds in this video, please see the link in the box below with to the interactive phonemic chart. Here are a few more examples. Number one. World Cup, World Cup. Number two, steam rice, steam rice. Number three, we lived there, we lived there. So number two, steamed is an adjective ending in ed, but it actually ends up sounding like the noun, steam, 
because when ed comes between the two consonants here, m and r, it just disappears. So instead of steamed rice, you'll often just hear steam rice. And in the third example, we've got ed as part of a past simple verb, lived. However, because the ed comes between the consonant v and the th, the, uh, it also disappears. So it can sound like the present simple, we live there. So you might need to go off of context to know whether or not somebody's talking about the past or the simple, since the ED can often disappear. Now I'd like to help you hear the elision of the D sound, or at least notice it. So I will say 10 phrases, and I'd like you to write them down. If you need to, pause the video and number a paper or document 1 through 10. So again, listen and write or type what you hear. Each line will tell you the number of words in the phrase or sentence. I'll say each three times, fast, then slower, then fast again. Here we go. Number one, used car. Used car. Used car. Number two, cold morning. Cold morning. Cold morning. Number three, second chance. Second chance. Second chance. Number four, third grade. Third grade. Third grade. Number five, behind me. Behind me. Behind me. Number six, we move slowly. We move slowly. Number seven, my friend came. My friend came. My friend came. Number eight, I called my brother. I called my brother. I called my brother. Number nine, she told me a secret. She told me a secret. She told me a secret. Number 10, I could buy a home. I could buy a home. I could buy a home. Again, if you're watching with someone else or your teacher and classmates, pause the video and compare your answers. If you need to, go back and play parts of the dictation. Here are the answers. Pause the video if you need more time to check them.
Pronouncing a feature of connected speech can help you hear it when others say it. So listen and repeat after me. Try not to pronounce the final d sound in the first bold word. Here we go. Number one, use car. Use car. Number two, cold morning. Cold morning. Number three, second chance. Second chance. Number four, third grade, third grade. Number five, behind me, behind me. Number six, we move slowly, we move slowly. Number seven, my friend came. My friend came. Number eight. I called my brother. I called my brother. Number nine. She told me a secret. She told me a secret. Number ten. I could buy a home. I could buy a home. To review, sometimes a final d sound in a word is not pronounced if that word ends with more than one consonant sound and the following word starts with a consonant. A final example is, that would be better. That would be better. Now it's your turn. Think of another example of the elision of the d sound at the end of one word and write it in the comments or pause the video and share it with your teacher and classmates. And now for the real world challenge. Find an example of the elision of the d sound at the end of a word in a recorded or real life conversation and post it in the comments or share it with your teacher and classmates. Thank you for watching this English micro listening lesson. I hope it has helped you to better hear how sounds change or disappear in spoken English. Bye.